Ooh, it looks scary! Friendly hello, hi everyone, my name is Monday, and welcome to Summer Nightmare. Now, this is a game that's along the vein of Doki Doki Literature Club, and I figured I'd start in on it because I saw it on Steam and it looks fucking cool. Do you remember the serial murder case that continues to happen within a certain class? Unfortunately, another victim has emerged. The issue this issue received even more attention as the victim was the only son of XX group president. Now the third class of juniors in Cali High School is left with only one student. Oh great. Oh great. This is this is bad grammar. I didn't want to hear it anymore, so I turned it off. Our classmates have been getting killed one by one by an unknown killer. And I'm the only one who's left. I still have to go to school, even if no one is left, like I just said. My father, according to my mom, he died in an unfortunate accident, soon after my mom. Whatever, let's stop thinking about it and go to school. See you later, mom and dad. The principal thinks that I'm the murderer, not to mention he thinks I killed Kai. He was my childhood friend, I would never kill him! He was my childhood friend, I would never kill him! It's break time. The students in the hallway are giving me the looks. The looks. You know the looks. The looks that they have on their faces with no mouths and these guys have no eyeballs but that guy has eyebrows. Could they be suspecting me too? Hey, isn't that the guy who killed all his classmates? And he has the nerve to show up to school? Scary stuff, really. Everyone's whispering to each other while staring at me. I pretend that I don't hear anything, but I can't help lowering my head. I'm, I'm just changing this to good grammar, like, as I read it, because Jesus fuck, this is gonna give me a headache. Uh. Oh, Lena! Aw, you have giant boobs, like a stereotypical anime female protagonist. Riel, are you okay? Yeah. Don't listen to them! They're just saying stupid stuffs without knowing anything about you. At least you trust me. Of course! I know you're not that kind of person. <laughs> Lena is the only one who believes me. Lena's been my friend since childhood, so far. But I just want those tennis! Suddenly a group of bullies came to me. Okay, he looks more like a murderer. Like, look at that face. Look at that eye. Although he is a little, like, he's kind of better drawn, I guess. Because this guy's shoulders just go, Pew -pew, and his are like, what? He's a famous murderer, right? You've got some nerve to show up like that, you murderer. Did your mother teach you to be like that? Do you dare say bad things about my mother? Oh, right. This bastard has no mother. Would you look at his face? At this rate, he'll kill us all. Am I right? God, you're a dick. Guys, stop it! Who's this bitch? She one of your hoes? <laughs> hey! You guys better be careful. He might stab you. Lena was flushed with anger as they were chuckling. Riel clenched his fist. I need to talk in the third person all of a sudden. Suddenly, a boy who was holding a book with an annoyed face appeared before us. You guys are so no- You guys are so noisy. If you know that, can you please shut up? If you've already noticed, be quiet. <laughs> what? You don't own the hallways, so shut up. You nerd! Being stupid ain't something to be proud of. Cut it out. He's uh, he is Oscar, the teacher's pet. Messing with him might cause some trouble, so let's head back. Tisk. This is... Oh my god, this game is terrible. Scared of Oscar, the bullies became quiet and went back to their classroom. Ah, uh, that boy saved us. He must be a good guy. Thanks. Thanks for what? For saving us. Me save you guys. Okay, cat, I'm trying to record. Thank you for meowing at me. I'm well aware that you want to go outside and it's not happening. Huh? Honestly, I came out here only because the hallway was too noisy. You guys too, stop being noisy and get out of my way. 
Oscar walked away coldly from us. He isn't as nice as I thought. Kind of annoying, to be honest. Just like this game. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. What's wrong with him? Are you okay, Lena? I'm fine. I should go back to class. You should get back to class also. Forget about what everyone says. Chin up. Okay, Lena, have fun in class. When is the scary shit gonna happen? Lena leaves and I'm left alone in the hallway. A lot has changed in a day. Kai, who was a close friend of mine, died and people think I killed him. It's hard to even breathe when I hear what they say about me. I broke the promise that I made with Lena and left the school. But if I knew what was awaiting for me, I would not have left the school. Uh-oh. Shit's going down! I left the school and arrived at the temple. This is the temple that I used to come often with my mother. Oh god, that's nasty. I visited here often when I got sick or something bad happened to me. But it's my first visit since my mother's passing. It feels quite awkward to come here on my own. The temple had a both heavy and bizarre atmosphere. It feels like someone is watching. I kneeled over the cushion and closed my eyes. I wish I can prove my innocence and everything falls back into place. I feel like something's changed, but just I'm probably just imagining it. But the temple looks more red than before. The emptiness of the temple gave me the creeps. Guess I'll go back home. Ugh. I'm so bored. Huh? It's pouring outside. Pretty sure it was just sunny then, but now it's all foggy and dark. Wait, what time is it now? It's still only 2 p.m. Although it's been a while since I started walking toward the bus station, no one's in the street. The stores are all closed, too. It felt like I came to a completely different world. I decided to just wait for the bus at the stop. Ah, finally, the bus is here. The bus. But wait, I don't see the driver. No one is driving it. How could that happen? I moved backwards and quickly got off from the bus. The bus with no one inside disappeared into an empty space. I suddenly felt the cold, so I ran home through the rain. Okay, now it's picking up a bit. As soon as I got home, the phone rang. It almost felt like somebody knew that I'd just arrived. The ringtone feels ominous. I tried to calm down and answered the phone call. On the telephone, I could hear a robotic voice. I'm the fifth year classroom for juniors. If you don't come right now, your girlfriend Lena will taste the horror that she will never forget. Lena? <laughs> oh shit, they got your girl, dude! I rushed to the school as soon as I hung off the phone. I was worried that something might happen to her. Please be safe! Ha! Huh, ha! Huh, I don't know who it is, but Lena's in danger! I want to find out just who is threatening me. First of all, I need to go to the classroom to save her! Erg! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, snap! Err, where am I? My homeroom teacher is standing in front of his desk, and trade class president is standing next to him. The seats are filled with class students. Students seem to be worried and started whispering to each other. The teacher slammed the desk twice with the attendance book. Our classroom, and the class president even Kel, they were obviously all dead, but how? Okay, you guys, calm down. If you follow my instruction, everyone will be safe. Yeah, guys, let's settle down and listen to what he has to say. Listen to your teacher. Now, a Medusa is roaming around the school. I don't know where it came from. Anyways, when you encounter it, you should run away, and don't you dare fight against it. A Medusa? If you make eye contact with it, your heart rate will rise drastically. Eventually, it will explode. <laughs> Damn! If something happens, come to me at once. I'll be in the office. If something happens to me, the class rep will be your leader. The HR teacher was getting out of the classroom and stopped. Oh, right. Remember that you cannot get out of the school. I'll go down to the office to find a way to resolve this problem. Okay! Everyone seems perfectly chipper with this. The teacher took the attendance book and left the classroom. Trey opened his mouth and everyone looked at him. United we stand, divided we fall. We all know what it means. We have to stick together to get out of here. This place is dangerous, so let's try and find a safe place. Follow me. Trey left the classroom after he finished speaking and the rest of the class followed him. Okay. Medusa? What the hell are they talking about? And how is everyone all alive? This must be a dream. I closed my eyes and tried to wake up. I realized none of this was a dream. That was rather quick. Now is not the time for this. Lena, I have to find Lena. Where's my big boob babe? Lena! I walked in, rashly shouting Lena's name, but the classroom was empty. Nobody's here. Wait, that's... That's Lena's hairpin. I went, I went to Lena's seat in a heartbeat. Music book. Ooh. 
um 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 I'm gonna save I'm gonna save and I'm gonna um okay I kind of want to go to the music room to see if like there's someone there but I also kind of want to just stay I don't want to follow Trey I don't want to fucking follow the norm um I'm gonna go to the music room maybe we need in the music room let's go there but there's nobody in the music room. No one's here either. I should go somewhere else. This real tries to get out of the music room. Huh? Ah. I tried to get out of there, but I was pushed back to the music room by somebody's big push. Oscar was the one who pushed my back. Why would he do such a thing? Oscar's face was covered in sweat. What the hell are you doing? You're the one who carelessly opened the door. There was a Medusa outside. Oh god, look at his face. A Medusa? Yeah, the Medusa is wandering around to eat everyone. You're saying there's a Medusa outside! You know, the thing that you just said? Is that what you're saying? Your surrounding will turn red when the Medusa is around. You're lucky that you're still alive. But our friends are still out there. Lena might be there too. Oscar quickly stopped me from getting out. I tried to shake him off, but it didn't work. Now you're acting suicidal. I don't want to die with you, so calm down. But... Hmm, told you. Tis, tis, no, tz, tz. The victims, 11th grade, third class, Rayon, Fusion, Anno, Yono. Those are the guys from our class. You should really thank me that you're still alive. This is not the time for that. Damn it, Oscar. The hell was I supposed to say? That I feel sad for those guys? Get your shit together, man. I don't know how this all happened, but we can't do anything about people who are already dead. What matters is that we get out of here safely. Mourning for them won't do anything. This guy would fucking survive in a horror film. He's the guy who's like, Okay, my friend is dead. Now is not the time to grieve. We're getting the fuck out of here. Grab your shit. We're gonna go. <laughs> but we're gonna go. In the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to click the like button down below and subscribe to the channel to see more of this craziness every other day. And I will probably play more of this game because I want to see scary shit happen and although the grammar is appalling, it's not terrible, I guess? It's not, uh, it's not great, but it's not terrible. I'll do another episode. So I will see you, lovely, beautiful, amazing, wonderful marshmallows, in the next video. Bye!